What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets radio Friday afternoon. Uh, let's go Yankees. Probably the highlight of the weekend is two good games, two playoff games. At least I follow one playoff team. And yes, for those that you're wondering, this will be a negative uh, video. I will not be happy. I will bash several aspects of this organization. So if you don't like that, you can just tune out right now. And you know what? Don't tune into the show either because I really don't care. Like This is not a time to make excuses. This is not a time to find positives. This is not a time to drink the Kool-Aid. The Jets are a mess. This is a lost, wasted season. A wasted season for Le'Veon Bell, a lost season for C.J. Mosley. There's nothing coming out of this. The only positive coming out of this is hopefully Sam Darnold at some point gets healthy and can get some experience. Because other than that, that's it. Like, this season that we all waited for is a complete disaster. So, with that being said, if you didn't tune out, you still want to listen to my rant, here's how the Jets handled this all wrong. Now, once Trevor Simeon gets hurt, Luke Falk comes in. Okay, he's got familiarity with Adam Gase. We all understand that. But right after that, you got to bring in a veteran quarterback. And because you know that Luke Falk is a mediocre, at best, practice squad quarterback. Not highly coveted, not highly touted, not going to set the world on fire, not the future, not the future quarterback. He is a practice squad guy. Here, just hold the clipboard. That's all he's here for. And now he's your starter. Okay. You bring him in for the one game, you start him against the Patriots, fine. But while you're doing that, you should have brought in somebody else. Now, who you say? Anybody. Have tryouts. Like you try out kickers, you try out quarterbacks. Brock Osweiler is a guy that won games at Adam Gase. Does Brock, is Brock Osweiler suck? Probably. But you know what he is? He's better than your quarterback. Luke Falk is not good. Josh Johnson, is he a starting NFL quarterback? No. Is he better than Luke Falk? Yes. The goal for your organization at all times is be competitive. Try to win games. Try to field an NFL offense. Luke Falk's offense is not an NFL offense. It's gross. So why not bring in a guy that's actually seen an NFL defense, has won games, and accomplished things? Now, Brock Osweiler wouldn't be the future. He, he is just somebody to make you be competitive. If you can keep a defense honest, guess what? Le'Veon Bell can run the ball. Maybe you can actually throw a pass to Jamison Crowder. Maybe you can actually run a, a game plan. Be competent. Be competitive. Try to steal a victory. Where are you going to beat the Patriots? Probably not. Can you try to beat the Eagles? You have a much better chance of Brock Osweiler. Who would have had two weeks? Because you have a bye week in between. You have two weeks to prepare. Two weeks to bring in a guy. Nothing. Mike White. Some practice squad bozo. So the New York Jets just milled it in. Up. Oh, we got, we got Falk. He's our guy. He's an Adam Gase guy. He knows the system. Who cares if you know the system if you suck as a quarterback? Like, seriously. What, what is the game plan with this guy? And then as a backup, you don't have anybody. You have Mike White and David Fails. Another failed, another Adam Gase guy that sucks. So the Jets have mailed it in. Like, they're, they're just content with losing. Content with the bad offense. Content with the ability to not try to win a game. That's what they're content with. They, they have no desire to win. They're saying, oh, we got Luke Falk. We're good. Why? Like, we're, This is the new culture? What about competition? What about being competitive? What about accountability? What about this new culture of trying to win? What are, you, what are we learning out of this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So now we go to this week. Sam Donald's practicing. And the New York Jets, as cute as they are on social media, promote the living hell out of Sam. Sam is back. Sam is this. And everybody in their right mind is like, dude, this guy ain't going to play. Like, there's just no way. It's rushed. Doesn't seem right. Now, you bring him back. You take away reps from the guy that need reps, which is Luke Falk, who shouldn't be starting anyway. He shouldn't be starting. But you keep him here, which is stupid. And then you take away his reps, which is stupid, because you think Sam Darnold's going to try to play, and he can't. So now, here you are on Friday, naming your starter because Sam Darnold didn't play, and according to several people, they thought he could, they were hoping that he could do it, and they kind of planned accordingly. The plan completely blew up in their face. So now you have a bad Luke Falk and an even worse David Fales, who wasn't on the freaking roster yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. He's an Adam Gase guy, though. He knows, he knows the system, though. He knows the system. Doesn't mean shit, but he knows the system. So now we're going into this game on Sunday with a piss poor, half ass quarterback situation again, with pretty much absolutely no chance to win this game. The Eagles suck against the pass. Their secondary is decimated. They have two practice squad guys back there. And Orlando Skandrick, who's like 8,000 years old, and he sucks. And I, you just know the Jets can run the ball. Gonna, you just know it's going to be bad. Like You just know this isn't the best chance to win. I'm willing to bet you. 
that Brock Osweiler, with should have been, say, two and a half weeks of experience with the Jets, it would be 10 times better than Luke Falk. I'm willing to say Josh Johnson will give you a better chance to win this game with two weeks of uh, preparation time to beat the Eagles than Luke Falk. Why are we conceding victory? Why are we just giving up million because Luke Falk is just a yeah, nice guy, smart, he knows the offense? Why? Why are we doing that? And trust me, I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to see him light up on Sunday. You guys be, ah, see, you're an asshole. You know what you're talking about? I don't see it. I, I do not see it. I do not agree with it. I do not agree with how they handled any of this. Any of it. And it's like, now it's like, well, Sam Darnold's spleen didn't reduce. Why not do this test on Wednesday? Why, why are you waiting till fr Thursday night to do it? Give your team the best chance to win. Prepare your quarterbacks. Get Fails' ass in here yesterday or the day before. Like, you, you could not have handled this any worse. And now it's like, you know what? Don't even, if, if there's this much uncertainty about the hits, why play against the Cowboys? He's obviously a couple weeks away. So stop selling his stuff. You're not selling tickets. Like, let's be honest. They're going to be 0-4. That, that Jets-Cowboys game is going to be, they're going to be a, a Cowboy home game. You're not selling Jets tickets to Jets fans. Because, first of all, they're going for a premium because everybody's selling them to the opposing fan. And you know, nobody wants to go. Unless it's free. I'm sorry. Free ticket, you may want to go. I mean, this, this is a, a complete disaster. Like, I, and everybody's like, oh, there's no other options. You are starting a practice squad quarterback that nobody else wanted other than Adam Gase. That's who you're starting. And you're happy with that. You're content with that. You sat here for two weeks as an organization. Said, you know what? That's completely cool. We got Falk. We're fine. We don't need to bring nobody else in. We don't need to try nobody else out. We got Mike White. I hope that's Ned. Probably, probably the wrong name for all I know. I don't even care. So, sorry. This is like a seven-minute rant. I'm pissed. I'm so tired of this shit. I really am. Like, like, you want to see competent football, competitive football, winning football. You want to see something going in the right direction. If Darnold's going to be out... Give us the best chance to win and be competitive. At least make the game watchable, enjoyable. And if, you know what the thing is, too, is if Darnold would have came back this week, the game plan would have been ultra conservative because they're scared to get him hurt, which means that he's not ready to come back anyway. If he's not going to be full speed with an open playbook, why even waste our time? If you can't open your playbook with Luke Falk, guess what? He's not the right guy for you. You should have somebody else in there that can actually throw a forward pass more than 10 yards. So... Tonight, we're talking Jets-Eagles previewing. I'm going to be watching the Yankee game, so if you want to call in and yell at me, curse me out, I really don't care. I'm watching the game anyway. Um, sorry for the rant. I I'm disgusted. I I'm really disappointed with how they handled this, which you could tell. Sorry it's negative, but this is reality. I don't drink Kool-Aid. I drink beer. Talk to you later.